hearing that Mark Sokol has died is a deep personal loss for myself. I knew him for many, many years, actually so many years that I played my very first Brahms quintet with the quartet of Mark. And then when he became director in San Francisco, I had nearly yearly contact with him and it was always a joy to see his love for music, his understanding for the psychology of a student, and his love for the songs of the birds that he collected. He is a dear, dear person, and I feel the world of music has lost a great person, and I personally have lost a dear, dear friend. First of all, I'd like to say something about Mark. Mark and I met. That's enough. <laughs> Mark and I met uh, over Thanksgiving dinner in 1969. And in the course of probably, I'd say, a day and a half, forged a kind of a, a bond that is still incredibly active today. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. We played, we had dinner together. We played quartets. We did just amazing stuff, and it has just been, just been awesome. So to be, always have an opportunity to be close to my friend here is always a great pleasure. Oh. Doing master classes, it's a great way to perform a piece. You get nervous because you're doing it in front of an audience of your peers. You make uh, room for everything to happen and all of the 60s. Can everybody hear me? Mr. Sokol was a part of a really great quartet and he has such like a specific and attentive ear. He plays really well. Last summer he was one of my coaches and I just remember like every note that you played he would question and you had to have like an intent and which you should do but it's just that degree of expectation from a coach is um changes the way you think about how you're playing which is this first movement is really first year also really first year also uh on the on the surface da -da -da, bum, 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 you have that but boy behind it is all this stuff and i think you should just let it fly and play a little bit more on like soloist Especially the show, you need more bass. All he wanted more bass from me, kind of getting to know your space. In, in a practice room, I was done really loud, but in, in a hall, a bass won't carry the same way, so it's good to get those kind of, that kind of feedback. Use a little more propulsion. And, you know, test each other a little bit. If somebody wants to play in 16, it's a little faster, play a little faster. The other people have to keep up. <laughs> well, the first quartet that you ever heard was a Hungarian? Yeah. That, Mini that, Hall. I, no, no, no. It was the first quartet I ever heard that changed my life. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think you snuck in through the rafters or That's something. True. Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. that story, yeah. 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 And then you went down about every quartet score you could get a That's hold right. of. And music, yeah. uh, all the money that I had, two shopping bags for a string quartet, so I started a string quartet the next day. So oh, they they played that. Uh, uh, oh, Steady with Bartok. So. Uh, uh, you know yeah. that beat. Uh, yeah. You knew it from me. From me. Yeah. Yeah. The disco yeah. of Cumberland. Yeah. 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 Opus 3, high nerves of it. That's what they opened the concert with. It was the most beautiful thing I ever heard in my life. And then uh, then they played the funk quartet. The quartet. 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 After that. And then after the mission, they were doing the Bartok fifth. And Dad was a big fan of Bartok, and so I listened to Bartok's love, but they didn't understand it. And I figured, well, I'm not going to understand it. So I'll, I'll try to figure out how you, you know, watch grown men try to play this thing. <laughs> Because the fifth quartet is really hard. Well, yeah, and you so have to started, understand the language. I see from the from the balcony. It was right in front of the quartet, in the yeah. front, first row, yeah. that nobody was sitting in. Yeah. And I went during the intermission, and I plopped yourself in there. The yeah, and and the quartet was right, right here, and my heart was going like this, like somebody was going to throw me out of the oh. seat. And and uh, they did. And then the quartet played the fifth quartet. And I remember walking home and I understood everything. It was like 
listening to Haydn or Mozart or Beethoven. And it was a life-changing experience.